Now the literature on intermittent fasting and improvement in mitochondrial function is in its, is in its infancy, but there are several biochemical signals that are happening with fasting that improve metophagy, fusion, fission, and mitochondrial biogenesis. And this is manifested as reduction in your liver fat because of better mitochondrial function, improvement in exercise capacity because your muscles have better mitochondria, and with fasting, you elaborate something called BDNF, which is on that side of the, this side of the slide. And in the brain, this BDNF improves mitochondrial function, improving connections between neurons, the synaptic plasticity, and neuronal survival. So in conclusion, I think that we need to pay attention as to how we can rewire our hedonic dopamine system so that we can actually learn to eat less in this era of overwhelming abundance of food which is engineered, so that we can overcome food addiction, that we can actually reestablish pleasure from eating food, and also use intermittent fasting and aerobic exercise because this will drive up your fat oxidation, will improve your mitochondrial function, will reduce insulin resistance, and also promote autophagy. So should a person who has got evidence of lipotoxicity with high triglycerides, high HDL, who is insulin resistant, who has my bad markers of uh, low adiponectin levels, high blood pressure, and visceral obesity. Because as a low carber, we give people license to eat as much fat as they want. And I would like to submit that the initial focus should be on fasting and exercise. And perhaps until their blood markers improve, that they should be on a low carb, low fat, protein-sparing diet.